Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through an old Bob Marley tune called Buffalo Soldier. And we're going to start on a G major chord. And the way you play a G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it's going to a G major. It sounds really, really happy. In our intro, we're, we're going to end up doing just a lot of the G major. So we end up doing four times, that four times. And then we end up on our chorus part, and our chorus starts on G major, and then we do another G major, and then we do an E minor chord. And the way you do E minor, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, same place you are, and then second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E minor chord, which sounds really, really sad. And then from E minor, there's a really quick change to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret. Second finger is going D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum those together, it makes a C major chord. And then we're going to go back to E. Oh, and it sounds really, really happy. <laughs> but then we're going to end up back on E minor. So our, our chorus, we got, we got G major, G major, E minor, C major, E minor, G major, G major. E minor, C major, E minor, G major, G major, E minor, C major, E minor, G major, G major, E minor, C major, E minor. And then our verse part, you, we're going to end up talking about some, some basis with this, but we go to the C major. And then we're going to do a G major, and then we do a C major, and then a G major, and then we do a G major, and then we do an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger is going D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord. And then from A minor, I said, well, A minor sounds really sad. And then from A minor, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. So we got C major, G major, C major, G major, G major, A minor, E minor, C major, G major, C major, G major, G major, A minor, E minor. It's kind of our verse um, through the song. And then our bridge part that, that kind of comes up later on, where we got kind of an E minor, an E minor. And then a C major, and then a G major, E minor, E minor, C major, and then a G major. And then we have some variations on, on those things that happen later, like that. there's kind of our outro part. And on our outro, we're, we're doing the G major, and then our G major, and then we do kind of a quick E minor and then C, and then we do a quick E minor and then G. G major, C major, E minor, G major, G major, G major, E minor, C major, E minor, G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it a little bit more interesting, I like doing what I call a strum pattern with it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we just tried that, our, our intro, we've got our G and we're doing just our down, down, up. But then when we get to, to those quicker chords where we're halving things, um, what I like to do, one, one way to do that is just to half the strum pattern. So for instance, on that E minor and C in our chorus part, you could just do down, down up on each of those chords. So E minor with a down, down up, C with a down, down up. E minor with a down, down up, C with a down, down up. E minor with a down, down up, C with a down, down up. So just to try that all the way through our chorus, the, then we got our G with down, down up.
next we're, we're gonna have the C and the G twice and then we have the G and the A minor and then do the E minor so that's a little weird because you're gonna have the C with the down down G down down C down down G down down G strum pattern on all the chords. So we have our E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up. And then when we get to our outro, then we have the G with the whole strum pattern, but at the end we're going to end up having the E minor C and the E minor G. So then you have the G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. actually is kind of what, what, what's called a reggae pattern and your traditional reggae pattern is basically a bass down up kill it down kill it see so, so if we took the G for instance and we did like just the low E for the bass and then did a down up with the pick and then killed the strings and then did another down and killed it that would be your traditional reggae pattern so we may just want to try that like on the G chord your low E is the bass string so you're doing low E down up kill it down Low E down up kill it down G with low E down up kill it down G with low E down up kill it down. The the weird thing is for our, our well and actually let's try that whole pattern on the E minor too. If you're on the E minor, you're gonna be doing that low E string for the bass and then doing the down up down low E bass down up, down E minor with low E bass down up, down E minor with low E bass down up, down E minor with low E bass down. Up, but then when you get to your C chord, you'll be doing the A string for the bass. So then we'd have an A string bass down, down, a, C with the A bass down, down, C with the A bass down, down, C with the A bass down, down. And then when you get to your A minor, you'll be doing the A string for your bass. A minor with the A bass down, down, A minor with the A bass down. down a minor with the A bass down, down, A minor with the A bass down, down, A minor with the A bass down, down, So just to go through that with the chorus, what, what's kind of weird is when we're half in the chords, we're just going to go bass down up on each one. We try that through our chorus, and you have the G with the low E bass down, up, down, G with the low E bass down, up, down, E minor bass on the low E down, up, C with the A bass down, up, E minor with the low E bass down, up, down, G with the low E bass down, up, down G with the low E bass, down up, down E minor with the low E bass, down C with the A bass, down G with the low E bass, or E minor with the low E bass, down up, down G with the low E bass, down up, down G with the low E bass, down up, down E minor with the low E bass, down up, C with the A bass, down up, E minor with the low E bass, down up, down G with the low E bass, down up, down G with the low E bass, down up, down E minor with the low E bass, down up, C with the A bass, down up, E minor with the low E bass, down up. And then on your verses, there's actually kind of a cool bass move um, for, the, for the G chords and, and the verse part. We, we'd actually do the C with just half the pattern where we'd have the A string for the bass down. Up. But then on the G chord, instead of doing the low E bass, it can sound really good to do the A string bass. And when, and when you do that, it's something called a G slash B, which means it's a G major chord with a B in the bass. So you'd be going C with the A bass, and then G with the A bass. A bass, G with low E bass, and then you have the G with the A bass, and then the A minor with the A bass, and then the E minor with the whole pattern with the low E bass. Down, up, down, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, G with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, A minor with low E bass. Down, up, down, C with the A bass. So 
that can sound really good for your verse. And then on the bridge part, you get to do the whole pattern through each of the chords. So you have the E minor with the low E bass, E minor with the low E bass, G with the A bass, G with the low E bass, E minor with the low E bass, E minor with the low E bass, C with the A bass, G with the A or low E bass. And then we get to our outro, then we'd be half of the E minor C with just the bass down up, and then the E minor G with, with, with the bass down up at the end. So we'd have our G with low E bass down up, down, G with low E bass down up, down, E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, G with low E bass, G with low E bass down up, down, G with low E bass down up, down, E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, G with low E bass. But then we kind of be, be repeating that. And one other thing to play along with Bob Marley, instead of starting on a G chord, he's actually starting on an A major chord. So what you want to do is take the capo, and if you put the capo on second fret, then now your G chord is really an A major chord, your E minor is really an F sharp minor, and your C major is really a D major. And then when we get to it, your A minor is really a B minor. But I just think it's easier to play it this, this way so you don't have to worry about doing as, uh, the bar chords. So, so if we take it from the very beginning with, with, with the reggae pattern, then you've got G with the low E bass, down, down, G with low E bass, down, down, G with low E bass, down, down, G with low E bass, down, down. But then we got our chorus part that kind of comes in, so we got our G with low E bass, down, down, G with low E bass, down, down. Down E minor with low E bass, C with the A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down E minor with low E bass, C with the A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down E minor with low E bass. When we get to our verse part, then we're doing our C with the A bass, G with the A bass, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, and then we got the G with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, E minor with the low E bass, down, down, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, G with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, E minor with the low E bass, down, down, but then we'd be going back to our chorus parts. Then we got our G with the low E bass, down, down, G with the low E bass, down, down. Down, E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up, down G with low E bass, down up. E minor with low E bass, A bass, so the C minor with low E bass, down, down, But then we're back to our verses again, so we got our C with the A bass, G with the A bass, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, G with the A bass, A minor with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down, 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 C with the A bass, G with the A bass, C with the A bass, G with the A bass, G with the A bass, A minor with A bass, E minor with A bass, down, down, And then from there we'd be going back to our chorus again, so we got our G with the bass, down, down. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Down E minor with low E bass, C with the A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Down E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. Down G with the low E bass, down up. E minor with the low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, down, down. And then from there, the, then we kind of go to a part that, that's kind of like our, our outro part. And we go to the G with the low E bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, up, down, E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass, G with low E bass, G with low E bass, down, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, down, E minor with low E bass, C with A bass, E minor with low E bass. Part and on our bridge part, we got our E minor with the whole pattern E minor down up, down E minor with bass down up, down 
Bossy with the A bass down up. Bossy with the A bass down up. Oh, and then we got the. Oh, I missed that. So then we get to our bridge part. We got our E minor, low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass down up. Down G with the A and low E bass. E minor with low E bass. E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass. G with low E bass. But then we're going back to our chorus part. So we got our G with the low E bass down up. Down G with the low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass down up. O C down. Oh. And then we ended up back on our chorus. G with the low E bass down up. Down G with the low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass. E minor with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down E minor with A E bass. C with A bass. E minor with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass. And then E minor with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass. E minor with low E bass down up. Down. And then we end up on our outro part. So then we got our G with low E bass down up. Down G with low E bass down up. Down E minor with low E bass. C with the A bass. E minor with low E bass. G with the low E bass. And then at the very end, I would just end on a BG. It's really neat chord because we're capable of second. But anyway, but but that's the basics of how you can play along with Buffalo Soldier by Bob Marley. So good luck!